All right, guys, this is Tony with MTB Drop In. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Thule 9003 Raceway Pro Bike Rack. <laughs> things that I love about this bike rack is that it's cheap. I only need one. I could use it on multiple vehicles. My wife's vehicle is back there and sometimes we're going to go take a trip and I need to just get it off the bike. I just need to just transport it and get it on the other car and so we can go. Other times when I'm by myself, my car is perfectly fine, but I only have a two car. I only have two doors on this car, so I can't really fit the baby and all that stuff like that. So that's, a, that's the number one reason why I went with this. Um, the second thing I love about it is that it has a platform. This model, Thule 9003, is the only bike rack that I know of that is not a hitch that has a platform. So you can't get a platform bike rack unless you buy a hitch. Thule makes the only one as far as I am aware. Um, the other thing was that I liked about it is that you can still open the trunk, so you still have trunk access when you get the bikes off. So I've had this for about six months. Um, seven months probably and the things that I've noticed about it um, that kind of give me a little bit of grief are I have a carbon frame now on my bike so I have to use three at least three carbon fiber um, carbon fiber cloths to kind of protect it and I can't put the uh, clamp that tight because it's carbon you know I don't want to crack anything or you know squish anything together so this thing's not very secure as I would like it so what I ended up doing was getting the Thule puck that's usually, um, you usually use that to stop it from being stolen. What you do is you wrap it around your, uh, you wrap it around the bike rack and then you stick it inside your car trunk. And then that's kind of like another little safe strap. So they're going to have to cut it, get some pliers or whatever they got to do, uh, pliers. They're going to have to get, uh, some type of cutters or something like that to get it off. Um, just kind of a little protection against theft and stuff like that. That's what it's originally used for. And that's why I originally bought it. But when I got the carbon frame, I knew I needed something to reinforce. I'm not going to lie. I've been, I think it's happened three times where the clamp has actually come off in real bumpy sections. And this guy right here has saved my bike from going bye-bye. So the clamp literally popped off and then it's just going like that. You know, and I had to stop, pull over, and make sure to uh, get that clamp back on. The, one of the things I've been noticing is that one of the pins um, right here, I kind of have to make sure that the pin actually stays in. It kind of will wiggle out. I've actually seen it out almost almost half an inch. That's pretty scary. So you got to kind of watch the little pins and stuff like that after a while. I've actually left this thing out in the rain. Um, through the rainy season, I left it on my car, just let it get rained on. I kind of wanted to see what was going to actually happen to it, if there was going to be rust or anything like that. As far as I can tell, I've seen no rust and no real damage from leaving it outside for um, a period of time. Yeah, it comes with two little uh, straps right here that go over. Just kind of go like that. Boom. Back on. These trays come out like this, so you can kind of modify it. When I put two, when I two put two bikes on, what I ended up doing is taking that one the left one and just sticking it way out and then I stick the, the this one right here and I stick it to the as far out as it can go and the bikes end up fitting perfectly I put my wife's bike my wife has a mountain bike and I put it on here all the time they, there's no rub or anything like that I actually I actually put my friend's bike who has an actual uh, he has a full-size bike as well and I put it on here and I got it to fit on so that there was no bike rub or anything like that you're gonna have to like you know move around the pedals and stuff like that to make sure that uh, the bikes don't hit each other and stuff like that so but all in all bikes have fit mountain bikes have been fitting great on here and I haven't had any issues with that um, so these will release the cables this will go right over like that you can lock it and protect it from theft however they're just plastic and I wouldn't you know leave it outside for a big huge amount of time because someone could just come over with a screwdriver pry that thing off and you're good it's just plastic so it's really not a huge I wouldn't I would never recommend leaving it out overnight someone can get into it like nothing um, that's why I kind of I want even though it had this it felt kind of safe but you know at the same time I want to get some extra protection that's why I ended up getting the puck in the first place so I can also lock it right here and then I can also uh, put this in the trunk and wrap it around the rack just to make it a little bit harder for somebody so when I go into Burger King or wherever I'm gonna go inside of and buy a meal real quick I can come you know kind of be reassured that my bikes are gonna be gone in a second you know it's kind of a hassle I do want to get a hitch rack this does this is no this is in no way gonna replace the you know ease of use of a hitch rack it's just the hitch rack is amazing um, you just put it on take it off and you can leave it on and you're cool um, this thing, like I said, I have to like I can't go over bumpy bumps because if I go over bumpy bumps, this is gonna go. And it's just, 
you know, it's it's annoying because you don't want to be clamping your carbon bike frames and stuff like that. So you kind of got to go through some extra hassles to make sure that your bike is safe and that the bike actually stays on the actual rack. But um, for my needs, it's been awesome. I don't have a lot of money. Um, a lot of my money is, you know, gone in the bikes or whatever. So what I've been... I, re I really needed an easy, cheap solution. I will be going towards a hitch rack later in the future, um, and I'll keep you guys updated with that. But as of right now, this is what I'm using, and I'm pretty happy with it. It gets me, it basically gets me where I need to go, and that's really all that matters, and my bikes have been nothing but safe the whole time. The other thing I wanted to mention to you guys is that, uh, and another way to kind of be able to adjust the bikes and to get them on the way you need to, you could actually move this all the way to the other side. You can move these clamps this way or that way. And that's what I usually have to do depending on the different bike sizes that I put on here. I have to move the clamps a little bit. I generally like to clamp it down close to the seat. Um, and that way this can come right over to the other bike and get it. You, get the, you, always, you, never, you always want to put the bikes the opposite way. I'll put the, uh, the front of the other bike in front here and I'll clamp this down and it'll usually go again right next to the seat. All right, here it is guys with uh, both the bikes on. Uh, my wife's bike is an aluminum bike, so all you're gonna have to do is put the clamp on and you're good. I'm um, just tightening it up. You don't have to put any uh, car cloths or anything like that. And if you want to, to protect the paint, you can. I usually do. Um, I'm kind of a neat freak like that. As you can see, there's no rub from the bikes. They fit perfect. And if we can get a good shot there, that'd be great. Come along over here everything fits almost just perfectly um, the other thing is that I forgot to mention is that you're gonna have to lower the seat so you can make the second bike fit just fine um, that would have would hit the handlebars and the cables and stuff like that so you gotta let that down it's kind of a bummer because some people don't like to use their dropper posts and put them all the way down they say that it could wear out the seals or something like that and then other people say no it doesn't so but it's the controversies there whatever that's it this is the review of the uh, Thule 9003 bike rack and it's just done me um, it's just got me where I needed to go um, and it's oh yeah it weighs 30 pounds it's not light it weighs about 30 35 pounds um, so you know you kind of got to be you know you got to use some stamina to get it on and off and stuff like that not a big deal though I'm, I'm, I'm five six I can do it you know and it hasn't really been an issue for me so th there is that um, the other thing I forgot to mention was that when I put it on my car it will mess up your paint so I like to use the uh, carbon fiber cloths to put um, over the rubber and also down here I put a carbon fiber cloth as well and I have had absolutely zero dents the trunk lid has not I have not seen any indentions or anything like that um, I have not seen anything down there however on my wife's vehicle I didn't put the carbon fiber cloths and I do see mess scratches on the paint and I can show you guys that too um, I could bring you guys over here. So I'm going to show you the, the paint damage done to my wife's vehicle. Um, before I show you that though, I just want to thank you guys. We just hit 300 subscribers last night, so we're growing. Um, we're not to 1,000 yet, but that's, that's my goal for this year is to get to 1,000. That's my minimum goal. You know, I know people have made it to five, ten thousand 10,000 in a year. Um, so just so you know, that's where we're headed. You know, I want to get to, you know, I have goals that I'm not going to be revealing until I hit 10,000. So there's, there's a purpose behind this channel that I haven't revealed yet. And uh, it's, a deep, it's a deep thing, um, and I'll be revealing it as the channel grows. Here's my wife's car. As you can see, you can see this is from, right here. It's from the uh, Thule Raceway bike rack. See, there has been some paint damage with that. Um, other than that, guys, let's just keep this thing growing. We're at 300 today. I just want to thank you guys for your support. Um, we're having a, you know, I'm having a great time building this thing. It's like starting a business. It's been just absolutely a blast. Um, unfortunately, my shoulder's out, so I'll be back on the bike in probably about two weeks. I hopefully in two weeks. But doctor recommended three, but I'm gonna try it at two to get myself back in there. So um, I got a lot more content I want to bring you guys. Let's build this community together, and let's just get out there together, and just let's ride and let's uh, talk and let's just, you know what I mean? Just let's just. It's all about community. It's all about getting together, inspiring each other, motivating each other to get out and ride together. I was talking to Gene Arnold from uh, Regular Guy Mountain Biking this morning, and one of the things I mentioned to him was that um, one of the things that I love so much about Brian Kennedy from uh, BKXC 
is that he's just you know that dude that dude's philosophy the way he's going about things it's it's mo it gives me motivation to get out and to to achieve my dreams and to um do the things that are on my heart to do um he's a guy who's getting out there and doing it and i'm i you know i picture myself it gives me he gives me motivation to get out and do the same thing and that's what i want to do for other people i want to get give you guys motivation to achieve the goals you want to achieve and go where you want to go in this world life short you got one life um, you want to see the world, help people out, want to bring awareness to somebody's illness, or you want to help out a community of people that are in desperate need of help, you can go out and do that. You can. You can go out and achieve major things to make a difference in this world. So and that's just kind of what I'm about, and I want to motivate you guys to go ahead and do those things as well, to get out and to achieve those goals and those things that are put, put upon your heart to do in this world. So again, this is Tony with N2B Dropping, and I just want to thank you guys for dropping in today. And uh, I will see you guys next time, and I will hopefully be back on the bike as soon as possible, guys. And again, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Like I said, we're at 300. I just really appreciate that. It gives me, Every subscriber is just one bit more of motivation for me to keep going. So I don't take it for granted, and I thank you guys. You have a great day. Thank you for dropping by.